question uh, came up on Reddit the other day about org order. Um, so I wanted to do a quick screencast to show you what it's about um, and maybe talk about the future and um, yeah, how I use it. So here's the original, the original GitHub page. Um, see, it has been maintained for quite a while and it, it itself is a re-implementation of interleaf package. Um, the, there's a fork that has sort of been maintained. The last commit is on May 30th of this year, 2022. Um, tried to uh, submit a pull request, but you know the author hasn't been responsive. So uh, basically uh, both the fork and the original package are kind of stale. But uh, what's, what, what is it for? Uh, it's basically for annotating documents uh, as you read them um, without really modifying the original document. Um, and why do you want to take notes? Uh, basically, so you can remember stuff that you read. At least that's my intention. So let me let me show you. Let me show you how it actually works. Now, bear in mind that uh, this is you know, I'm using the fork. Uh, it's a refactoring of the original org noter and it's quite buggy, uh, but it is still worth using um, or worth improving at least. Anyway, uh, so taking notes. So I have a PDF here on the left. Um, it is a PDF about privacy that I wanted to read for a while. So as I start reading here, um, I see an interesting passage that I want to preserve. So here regarding surveillance, a New York Times revealed that uh, Bush administration has been secretly wiretapping uh, American public. So I actually want to save it uh, because it's interesting. So I will select it, then I will hit Meta I, and you see the, the node dialog here, I'll talk about it in a sec. I'll just hit enter for now. And you see here on the right, I got um, the quote from the PDF as a, uh, as a heading, and then as a quote as well. So what, what can I do now? Well, uh, I actually want to remember because this is uh, because this is interesting. So I'm going to create an Anki card real quick. Uh, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to restate this uh, fact. So uh, when was it revealed? It revealed that NSA was wire, wire tapping the American public without a warrant. And I'm going to put 2005 here, and I'm going to hit my Anki um, hotkey, and you'll see created a properties thing here, a properties drawer, and it's inside my Anki. Um, so what that does is basically I'm now going to have my uh, flashcard app prompt uh, me with this fact. Okay, moving on. Um, if we keep going here, um, you know, this, this, this is an interesting paper and it's, it, it's worth reading, but let's, uh, let me find an interesting passage. Uh, where is it? Okay. So here he talks about, uh, trying to define what privacy is and, uh, the author that is, and he basically says that. Uh, there's no common denominator to privacy. It's really a set of uh, interrelated concepts. So this is this is kind of where he says that. So instead of instead of um, preserving that whole quote as a heading, I'm just gonna restate it in my own words because it's kind of for me at least it's easy to remember. So I can say um, privacy is not. Um, is not a 
what did you say? Privacy is not a singular singular concept. Concept, it's a set of interrelated ideas. And then if you look on the right, um, my heading is now what I just typed in, but then the quote uh, from the original paper is inserted. So then I can keep on going and reading the article, you know, and when I find something interesting, I can select it and I can insert it again. And there it is. Now, um, ultimately, I'll go through the article um, and kind of summarize it in my own words or extract all the interesting content and turn it into uh, Anki cards like I did in the beginning. Um, but what if I, you know, as I'm, as I'm reading through this, uh, I want to go back to that very first quote because, um, you know, I, especially, especially if I reframe something like this and it's not in the original context then I'm trying to maybe remember what the author was trying to say. So I can hit uh, uh, control meta period and it'll jump back to the original uh, quote uh, with a highlight. And you saw there's an error here. Uh, there was an arrow here. It's uh, again, a little buggy. And then it was the attempt of Ork in order to show me um, where I was, or where the quote was, rather. So, um, yeah, I think I showed you kind of the basics of the package um, and why it's so powerful. So, in addition to um, in addition to PDFs, it can also deal with um, EPUBs. Apparently, Microsoft Office documents and uh, DJ DJ view files, which I've, I don't really have any experience with. Um, what's next? So this this process that I kind of that I showed you is um, also known as incremental reading. You can continue reading and refining. Uh, your notes uh, until you distill the document into something that uh, makes sense to you. Um, but yeah, it's it's obviously not ready for prime time. Uh, you know, I've been I've been picking away at it, but uh, if anyone is interested in uh, joining forces and um, combining our efforts and actually making this into a working package, uh, get in touch with me. Uh, either here or on GitHub, and uh, I hope uh, you found this interesting. Thank you.